Oh, what do we got here? My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and I'm at Craptastic Sam's. And uh, about to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. So here's the deal. Um, they're having a huge 4th of July sale. Everything, whole store, 50% off. And uh, it's July 2nd at the time of this recording. And my thought is that they're going to be bringing or have brought a bunch of stuff and loaded up the shelves, which means the toy shelves and the baggy section is gonna be loaded. This is my theory anyway, with lots of goodies, lots of goodness. So uh, I think we might have a pretty good shot at scoring some really cool stuff, maybe even some vintage toys. Vintage 70s toys, vintage 80s toys, retro 90s toys. Ooh. <laughs> Just thinking about it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray. pray. Pray, pray, That the vintage craptastic Sam's gods are good to me today. All right, what do we got? Hmm. Not really seeing anything. All right, well, the glass case was a bust. So let's check the baggies. Let's rummage through some baggies next. Got a bag of army men, tanks. Um, oh, that's like a parachute guy, see? He's got like the little things where the parachute would be attached to him. That's kind of cool. Looks like we got a bag of smalls, maybe some Disney figures in here. I don't recognize any of these toys as far as what line they are from. Okay, we got a pig, some McDonald's toys, and it uh, looks like a Peppa Pig bank slash keychain. And that's about it. Got some matchbox cars in here. And the rest is just junk in my opinion. And what's back here? Man, just bags and bags of crap. Uh, what do we got? Nothing there. Nothing there. We got a Beanie Baby, Great Britain, but that's not actually worth anything. People think they are, but they're not. Hmm, bag of junk. Right, what do we got back here? We got a Batman and a chili pepper. <laughs> All right. And we got like these little thumb puppet thingies right here, finger puppets, but nothing else. Right, what do we got back here? We got a Batman and a chili pepper. <laughs> All right. And we got like these little thumb puppet thingies right here, finger puppets, but nothing else. All right, what do we got? Nothing there. Nothing there. We got a Beanie Baby, Great Britain, but that's not actually worth anything. People think they are, but they're not. Hmm, bag of junk. Right, what do we got back here? We got a Batman and a chili pepper. <laughs> All right. And we got like these little thumb puppet thingies right here, finger puppets, but nothing else. All right, well, the baggy section was weak. Let's go check the shelves. Oh, craptastic Sam's. Oh, craptastic Sam's. Will you be good to me not seeing anything so far lots of garbage today oh what's this guy here ah t-rex with a broken tail His head's made out of rubber though oh, we got an rc car here and the remote control to go with it Oh yeah, these have been here for weeks. Yeah, 
I don't think we're gonna find anything on the shelves either. Oh, I got this uh, grocery bin. Garbage truck. It's kind of fun. And look at this thing. Look at this brute. It's a big old Mack truck cement mixer. It's missing the door though. Well, let's see if we can find some cool VHS. Oh, there's a schoolhouse rock. I've got one of these, but my case, I think, is a little more beat up than this one. So I'm going to grab this one. And we've got Mickey and the Beanstalk. And I saw this up here. Mickey, the Prince, and the Popper. Okay. Overboard. Footloose. And we got a bag over here in the CB section. Oh, we've got a Stormtrooper. First Order Stormtrooper. And it looks like there's another figure right there. Oh yeah, it's another Star Wars figure. I don't recognize him though, what his name is. Again, he's probably from the newer movies and I'm just not familiar with the characters in the new movies. But there's a couple of Star Wars figures in there. This one, he kind of looks like he's got his head chewed up a little bit there. All right, well, we're going to put this right back on the shelf. And we're going to leave it for someone else to get. I'm just not into these newer Star Wars figures. There's also a Jurassic World dino in there. So someone's going to get a cool bag for three bucks. All right, well, we're going to put this right back on the shelf. And we're going to leave it for someone else to get. I'm just not into these newer Star Wars figures. There's also a Jurassic World dino in there. So... Someone's gonna get a cool bag for three bucks. Yeah, find all kinds of random bags on shelves today. What do we got in here? Looks like some McDonald's toys. Oh, there's a George Jetson. That's fun. Who's this dude? <laughs> kind of funny looking. Let's see. Can I get a better look at him? He's like a steak with like a face. Hmm. We've also got. A Captain Hook, a TMNT, a couple of mutts, some minions. It's kind of a fun little bag, but it's not anything I'm going to get. Oh, that's a McDonald's toy. It's interesting, though. It's got like a steak. And I think this might be a pound puppy. It sure does look like one. All right, there's a couple of little cool things in here. I'm really interested in this pound puppy looking figure. That could be 80s. And some of these McDonald's toys that are in here do look a little older, like there's even like a big bird. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got Penguin Mario. That's cool looking. Look at this dude. It's got some big eyes, dang. Not familiar, oh, is this like a puppet? I think, oh yeah, it's like a puppet. Yeah, man, <laughs> you wanna take me home? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if you fit in today's budget. What do you mean I don't fit in today's budget? I'm on a budget, man. I'm, you know, economy's tight right now. Well, screw you, man. Hey, should he take me home? Comment below. Tell him, Burf, take him home. <laughs> All right, enough of the goofiness. Not gonna get him, but he is kind of cool. Look who I just pulled off the shelf, Leonardo. <laughs> A little TMNT. All right, y'all. We got a bag of McDonald's toys. Let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. I changed my mind on the uh, Schoolhouse Rock VHS when I opened it up. In the seam, there was a big crack, and mine was actually, the one I have at the house is in better shape than that. Originally, I thought that one was in better shape, but it wasn't. So, I passed on that stuff and uh, picked up some Mickey D's. All right, let's see what I got. All right, so I was right. These are 80s McDonald's toys. So, we've got Big Bird. We've got this, uh, I don't know what that is. It's like something like... Uh, looks like chocolate with butter slabbed all over it. I have no idea 
what that thing is supposed to be. But this guy here is actually super cool. He actually opens up like into sort of like a little playset type of thing or something like that. I'll show you here in a second. I do believe, I'm not 100% that this is a pound puppy. I did find similar uh, toys that look like him, but I didn't find this one specifically. And he does remind me of a posable pound puppy plastic toy from the 1980s. I also got this George Jetson. He's from 1989. And I think this, uh, this horse over here, I think it goes to the Muppet Babies McDonald's toys, which not too long ago, I actually found some vintage Muppet Babies toys. I think it was here at Craptastic Sam's. Um, so I'll have to go home and see if any of those guys actually fit on him. So, uh, but that is the McDonald's haul. Let me open this guy up and show you what he looks like inside. And of course, I don't want to discount the other stuff that was in the bag. It just wasn't vintage. But some of this stuff, I have no idea what it is. But I'm guessing if I list these on eBay, I might be able to get $10 to $15 out of this little lot of McDonald's toys and other miscellaneous stuff. So, you know, I paid $2.92 for the bag. So I could probably triple my money if I list it up as a lot and uh, maybe even do like a starting bid at 99 cents and see where it goes. But this was the rest of the stuff in that bag. Oh my God, man, it is hot as a mofo. When I do these show and tells in the car, I don't like to run the air because it like interferes with the audio. Um, so it gets hot as heck in here, especially when I gotta take time to set stuff up. So man, the stuff I go through for you guys because you love the show and tell so much. So, all right, we're gonna go hit up another thrift store. I think we're gonna go hit up the second Craptastic Sam's lo location. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Craptastic Sam's sister location. All right, and uh, before I forget, this dude was also in the bag, this little Imagine X looking figure. I don't know, this might be a Mickey D's toy too. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the craptastic Sam's gods are good to me today. All right, guys, let's head in here and see what kind of vintage we can pull out of here. We're gonna keep, uh, I already did that. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. But you know what, I, just, I prayed to the, uh, the thrift gods, the craptastic Sam's gods. No, we want the vintage crap gods. We need some vintage crap in our life today. So we got some vintage. We got some 1980s McDonald's vintage. That's really cool. So, all right, let's uh, check the glass case. Let's check the shelves and then let's rummage through some bags. All right, what do we got? We got some Hot Wheels cars. We've got some sort of game controller. I don't know if that's worth any money or not. It could be. Got a big dragon. What do we got down here? Some Disney stuff. Here's some more Hot Wheels. That's actually kind of a cool little truck. It looks like it's got uh, cherry blossoms. A cherry blossom design on it. That's cool. And these creepy baby dolls are still here. Probably overpriced. All right, let's go check the shelves. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a, we got a big dragon. That dude is huge. And we've got a Sentinel-1 tank with part of the tracks, but they're broken. Mm -hmm. We got a toy shotgun. Just checking to see if it made any noise. Must be like a cap gun, maybe. And we've got a albino dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. And we've got a Chinook helicopter down here. Another Sentinel-1. And we've got a Millennium Falcon. This thing's always missing the canopy. I see this thing all the time in thrift stores. Oh, look at this creepy looking owl. It's actually kind of heavy. Feels like you might have like 
beans in them or something. All right, I'm just seeing a lot of crap over here. So let's go rummage through some bags. All right, oh, we got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right here, but it looks like his fingers, well, maybe not. I thought maybe it looked like a dog had chewed them up for a second. What do they want for the bag? Three bucks for the bag. Is there anything else in there? There's a Batman Pez dispenser. Little chintzy Transformer Starscream. The Rubik's Cube. Yeah, just a lot of garbage. And here's another bag of garbage. Oh, here's a bag of action figures. Look like Fortnite figures. Yeah, his, uh, oh yeah, that's actually like a hat. That's, oh yeah, see? There's a little dude in there. <laughs> so, and then this must be a weapon. Looks like there might be two complete figures and then a busted, broken one in here. Check this out. That's actually made out of metal. And then there's like a Pikachu in there. Some rocks or stones or something like that. But this helmet is pretty cool. All right, here we've got a bag of some action figures. A fireman. This uh, scuba diver. Anything else? There's a Peppa Pig. Yeah, not really seeing anything else. Definitely not worth four bucks. Looks like a little computer. This bag has some Jedi lightsabers in it. And what else? Uh, some sort of headgear. Got a shaggy bobblehead and just a bunch of junk. Here we got a Curious George Jack in the Box. Let's see if we can get him going. So get down in there, George. All right, let's see. here looks like we might have some my little pony action going on in there <laughs> dang it all right let's take a look we got some horses dalmatians and oh yeah there's like another mlp right there and uh oh yeah and we got a big dragon in this bag I've got enough dragons at the moment. I don't need him, but uh, that's probably the most promising bag here. All right, what do we got in VHS land? We've got, you're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. What else do we got? We've got Quest for Camelot, Casper Saves Halloween, Secondhand Lions. Oh, what's this? Treasure Island. And we've got Mama Always Said, Stupid Is as Stupid Does. And we've got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I don't know. Is that, uh, I'm not, you know, I've actually only ever watched one Harry Potter movie. I keep telling myself I'm gonna do like a, a binge weekend of watching every single one of them, but I haven't done that. So I don't know if this is the first one, the second one, the third one, I have no idea. Oh, I got James and the Giant Peach. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we've got a Slave One. Is that a newer one? That is pretty cool. Oh, it's missing this whole back half. Dang. It's actually from 1996, so it's not like an original one, but it's still 90s, little retro 90s Star Wars. Um, seems to be missing quite a few pieces. I'm gonna see if it's uh, worth anything in this condition. All right, I'm gonna get it. They only want three bucks for it, 292. It's missing some pieces, but I saw one that sold pretty much in this exact same condition for like 24 bucks, so. 
Um, and I might actually try and piece it back together. So I don't have a slave one in my collection, my Star Wars collection. So I'll probably get it and just keep it for three bucks. All right, guys. Well, I ended up picking up the uh, Charlie Brown. You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown VHS. And I got the slave one. So let's jump in the car and do a quick show and tell. Well, all righty then. First up, we got, you're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. This should be a fun one. It says, the Peanuts gang takes the field in this all-new animated video. Everyone's gearing up for the big punt pass kick contest. What's at stake? A brand new bike and a trip to the Super Bowl. Who's the new mystery girl who has Linus and Charlie Brown competing for her attention? What about Snoopy? Can his coaching lead Woodstock and all his bird and his all bird team to victory against the rest of the animal kingdom? Find out as you laugh along with the entire Peanuts gang you've enjoyed for years in You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. All right, yeah, we'll definitely check that out. Then I also got a 1996 Star Wars Slave One. It's missing the canopy. I actually have the carbonite, the Han Solo and carbonite that goes along with this. I just have the carbonite case with him in it. Um, so that should be uh, something I don't have to buy to add to this. So that'll be cool, but it's missing this door. It's missing this back piece off of it. Like I said, it's missing quite a few things here, but gosh, man, for three bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So yeah, I'm really happy about this one. So am I like weird for like buying broken toys or incomplete toys like this? Like, I mean, most people would say this is junk, you know? Um, Nicole would say that's junk. But, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you would probably agree with her and say it's junk, but I don't know what it is. There's just um, something about finding stuff like this from the 80s and 90s that makes me want to buy it, whether it's complete or not, whether it's busted up or not. I mean, if sometimes when it's in like in really bad condition, I'll pass on it, but you know, usually I just buy crap like this, you know, but Hey, you know, this thing's still worth a little something, something, even in this condition, if I listed it on eBay, I could probably get 20 bucks out of it, which is kind of wild. So I guess people are looking for projects, you know, they go on there and they say, okay, I've got, you know, I've got a door, now I got to find the rest of Slave One or I've got a Slave One and now I got to find a canopy and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, people like piecing stuff back together, I guess. It's all part of the hunt. You know, it's just a, a continuation of the hunt. This right here, finding this in the thrift store is actually just the beginning of the hunt. So now I got to go find the pieces to put it back together. But hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out because when YouTube sees that you like my stuff, they tend to show my stuff to more people just like you and people that are just like me, people people that like toy hunts, I'm sweating, <laughs> uh, people that like toy hunts, toy collecting, vintage toys, vintage 80s toys, retro 90s toys, all the good stuff. So smash the like button, it helps me out and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it.